Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you some very delicious and crispy tostadas. Of course, with ground beef and potato. They come out amazing and perfect for this hot weather. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. these amazing homemade tostadas these are the ingredients i have pink himalaya salt garlic powder cumin smoked paprika tortillas mexican cheese blend lettuce sour cream ground beef small chili peppers the colors you have at home one tomato half an onion garlic cloves, potatoes, and of course, vegetable oil. This is everything we need to make these amazing and delicious homemade tostadas. So let's get started. I wanna start here first with the lean ground beef. Now that I separated just a little bit, I'm gonna start adding the spices. I have the cumin, the smoked paprika, the garlic powder, and the salt remember that the salt is to taste i'm going to add half a cup of just water instead of adding vegetable oil we are going to go ahead pull it apart cover it and let it cook in medium heat covered while the ground beef is getting nice and soft and getting and absorbing all those delicious flavors i am going to continue dicing my chilies look at this a variety of colors and the onion the red onion just amazing and i'm cubing all the veggies even the tomatoes so that everything really blends with each other i have the garlic cloves here that i'm going to dice really finely so that the garlic really infuses the rest of the ingredients here i have the potatoes i have washed them and dried them really good and now i am cubing them in very small pieces i'm going to stay dicing and getting all my veggies ready of course i'm adding some water to the potatoes so that they don't start getting brown and here the meat is really nice and tender it's already cooked i am going to start and adding all the veggies in here including the garlic once you incorporate all the veggies and they start releasing their flavor and you could really smell those aromas then you are ready to add your potato look at this there's no grease on the bottom of the pan and that's exactly how you want to cook this amazing and delicious recipe and here i added the potatoes i am going to cover them i'm going to let them cook in medium heat for at least 20 minutes no more than 20 minutes because you want your potatoes to be al dente you don't want to overcook your potato and then they will get really mushy that's exactly what you don't want so here i'm just gonna cover them for 20 minutes after the 20 minutes you could test your potato with the fork if you put the fork into the potato softly then that means that it is done don't overcook your potato look at this okay this is ready this is al dente now i'm just going to show you that this is completely done and now i am ready to start making these amazing tostadas look at this my oil is nice and hot i'm going to start adding my tortillas and i'm going to let them cook until they are golden brown nice and crispy and crunchy and that's gonna take just a couple minutes 
I have already a plate with some napkins where I'm gonna put the tostadas and just let them absorb the excessive oil. The napkins are really going to absorb the excessive oil and I'm going to continue making the rest of the tostadas. Of course, I want to enjoy these tostadas with a homemade salsa, a tomatillo and habanero salsa with garlic cloves, one fourth of an onion and salt to taste. This salsa is perfect for your tostadas. It's not too spicy, but it gives it such a delicious flavor and a little bit of kick. You are going to love this amazing salsa. Okay, we're going to leave it here. Cook it in high heat. When the tomatillos change color, then it is ready for you to remove all the tomatillos, the garlic cloves, and the one-fourth of an onion. Let's add everything in here, and we're just going to add one spoon of the liquid. We're going to add salt. Remember that the salt is to taste and we're ready to drink. Look at this. It really doesn't take too long. I have my tostadas. I'm adding some sour cream, being very generous with my Mexican cheese blend. I'm adding it right on top of the sour cream. And once I have the tostadas just like that, I am ready to add the ground beef and the potato. My home really smells delicious. And this recipe is very easy to prepare, but yet very delicious and amazing. And of course, I'm gonna top it off with some lettuce, cheese, sour cream, and my amazing chile, salsa de chile habanero. Look at this. It looks delicious already. I am ready to dig in. I am ready to enjoy these amazing homemade tostadas. I'm adding a little bit of salad, lettuce right on the top, just a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna be generous with my cheese. I'm gonna add enough cheese on the top. Look at this, my mouth is already watering. I can't wait to enjoy them. This recipe is perfect for this hot weather. My sour cream right on the top. And I'm adding my green tomatillo habanero sauce. I am ready for the presentation. I'll see you in a bit. with these amazing tostadas homemade tostadas with ground beef and potato and of course with this amazing habanero salsa perfection made at home this is the part i really love and enjoy tasting my recipes i wish you guys were here to taste it with me excuse me mm. the spiciness of the chili habanero just perfection it's not overwhelming it just gives you the little kick just perfect look at this enjoy these amazing tostadas at home with your family mm. if you liked and loved my recipe i invite you to subscribe leave me a thumbs up Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will stay enjoying these amazing 
homemade tostadas. See you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.